Hello there, welcome back to the yoga, the old Git Reacts, Reviews and Off Times Reminiscences. Um, today we're doing a band I've never heard of before. Um, I don't know how long they've been going, because I don't do that sort of thing. I don't research anything particularly. Um, but um, I've heard this once, um, and it piqued my interest for reasons we'll probably discuss as we go along. But uh, anyway, let's crack on and listen to The Night's End from Chapel Perilous. Bom, 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 bom. Let's go. So, what piqued my interest in the, in this then? Well, keyboards, um, which are, I think you'll agree, quite prominent and um, not particularly typical for um, this end of the spectrum, really. Um, there's a definite 60s, 70s vibe to the keyboards and depends on um, what you listen to or what you're aware of, I suppose, uh, you might say, ooh... The keyboards remind me a bit of the doors, uh, and uh, you wouldn't be wrong there, would you? No, but uh, for me, um, the keyboards give me a Stranglers uh, vibe. Um, so um, that's what's really piqued my interest, because back in the day I was I quite like the Stranglers, and still do now, really. Um, but um, so yes, the uh, that's what drew me in. Um, Apart from the typical energy and um, dynamics of uh, of um, a black metal band. One of the things as well that um, makes this work well for me is the fact that um, because the, um, there's a lustrousness to the, um, the um, keyboards, the, uh, the music around them has the same impact. So we're not talking the, the, the thin and lo-fi sort of sound that some black metal um, bands have nowadays, uh, always had, <laughs> but um, that I listen to nowadays is probably a better way of putting that. Um, um it's got a full-on sound and um as such the um the intended impact i suppose uh, is met um so um but and a thought come in and out in and out it's like butterflies my thoughts so they just uh, land and then flutter away again um what was the sound i was gonna say oh yeah so there, there's pommel there plenty of pommel uh plenty of dynamic or shifting dynamics and um uh, those keyboards also add um, a dual sense of uh, sinisterness, uh, of the sinister, and uh, also playfulness, mischievousness about them. So, uh, yes, and um, the whole album really has um, 
a similar keyboard effect um, which uh, ultimately does what it should do which is entertain uh, no matter how sort of um, serious a, a musical item is it just still entertain on some level uh, surely surely anyway <laughs> So there you go, what a treat. A um, little bit of the more traditional black metal towards the end there before it, that keyboard came back in with its 60s vibe. Um, <laughs> so, oh, cave dogs are at it. Uh, anyway, well, sorry, so yes, yeah, so um, anyway, uh, yes, the, the whole album is similarly refreshing, um, and um, I mean, that's one of the more punchy songs on the album but uh, they've all got punch at some point in the songs um just to varying degrees so um i have no doubt that within short order this will be uh, robbing me of some uh, shackles and um, i'll be poorer financially but richer um culturally and uh, in the sense of joy anyway clicky bollocks catch you next time cheerio